Hey boys, welcome back to the second part in this three-day match against, uh, who are we versing? Air, I think. Redcliffe for Air, but, um, yeah, we, uh, we're in a, we're in an okay position as we come out to bat. We lead by, lead by 31. Uh, another, another good chance to, to get a, to get a good score on the board as this one is, uh, struck us on the, on the front pad. Pretty, Pretty ambitious appeal from the boys, but you know they're up and about early. As what has happened to the the keeper's shirt, dude? It's gone pink. That's actually the same freaking. That's the same color that the Vera Coley. If you watch my Vera Coley video, I did on the demo. His shirt just randomly turned pink as well. I don't think it actually looked like a proper uniform though. His this one is just like real strange. So I don't, he wasn't always like that, was he? Am I freaking out? No, I don't think so. <laughs> the spin is on, and the spin is uh, you know the spin is pretty similar to to Ash's cricket. It's difficult. The pace I'd much rather face the pace balls, especially early on in the innings when we haven't really. Got a feel for the pitch, got a feel for the pace, all that sort of good stuff. You know, coming on, facing, uh, facing this is is never easy. You know, as <laughs> playing down the wrong line of that one, I was trying to play straight, just straight through uh through mid off. They do have a big, a big gap there, a little bit. You know, it's enticing. They're uh they are trying to play on that, spinning away. Is this one another appeal? Way too short. I uh, don't even might hit us in line, but. Definitely going over the stumps, but yeah, so it's not a bad field if he's uh, if he's bowling his. Is that what? Like, ah, man, I I talked about it. I didn't like the spin being able to like he's bowling left arm orthodox, but he got that one to rip back at us, which I've talked about it before that I'm not a huge fan of it, but I can sort of I can understand why it's like that. Um, you know, it'd be a bit tricky to sort of separate every bowler because. You know, bowlers can try different deliveries, but I, I don't know. Just the fact that they're they're one that goes the other way, spins so much. It's a sort of yeah, it's it's a little bit. I've I've always found it a bit annoying, but you know, you just got to sort of deal with it. Um, it does make the spin bowling a lot more difficult to bat against, because especially if it's and this is the thing, if it's a shorter pitch delivery. You can play back to it, but you don't you don't know which way it's going to spin. So if it's short and it's pitched on like middle stump, if the ball's turning a lot, you don't know whether the whether to play leg side or offside. Because if it spins back into you, you want to play leg side. But if it goes the other way, then you want to play offside. So it's it's just sort of a just sort of a gamble, honestly. That's why the as that one's uh, sort of just I think it was just an arm ball just sort of came in with the angle, almost collected the off peg. So we're 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 struggling out of here. Estes is 40 off 97. He's not doing too fly shot either. This one is flicked away off the pads. Should be uh, should be a couple, maybe four. No, he's just gonna he's gonna round it up. Probably could have got three on the arm, but you know we 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 know what happens when we try to risk uh, risk the fielders do. They do have. Uh, Potentially, they, they've got the arm from the rope to hit the stumps. Is this one? That's a good example. You know, the the short pitch delivery, it was, a bit, it was outside off. So, I tried to play it offside, but it, it just sort of came back into us and struck us on the pads. So, you know, that, that's my main issue. And I, I guess it's... I guess the thing is, is that a bowler can bowl it both ways anyway. So, there's always going to be that mystery around it. But, I, you know... There's no way to actually tell, like, in the game. You can't actually pick it out of the hand at all. Like, there's literally no way you can know which way it's going to spin. There's no difference in in action whatsoever. But, you know, that, that's just my little gripe. Um, and I've always, I've always had that gripe with it. You know, because even when I bowl my spin bowling, I mainly only bowl, like, my orthodox delivery, and then I'll bowl a few sliders and... I'll mix it up occasionally, but I'll mainly keep it as that's a that's a good ball. Just the angle, look, <laughs> the angle going across from Simon there, the left hand. Uh, not uh, not an easy delivery to face with that uh, that bounce as well. The pitch is it's obviously getting a little harder, which is which is good to see. And it does I I do notice that like early on in the day, it's very soft and grassy, but or early on in this match. 
it was keeping a lot lower, but that one it really took off from a length. So I, it seems to me that the pitchers do start playing differently over time. I think, you know, obviously it's going to take more more than a couple of games, but it, that's what it feels like to me, and I think that's a that's an excellent excellent thing. It sort of you know it makes the way sort of changes the way you can play, and you don't have to be sort of thinking about it at all times because if you come in early morning usually a hard pitch is going to carry through this pitch is sort of the opposite effect because it was so green and and it was so soft underneath so later on in the day it's got a little baking time it's gonna it's gonna start getting through a little bit better not not whizzing but it's starting to starting to bounce through a little bit more which is yeah I, like i said it's it's a it's a great thing it just adds to that immersion of it and, uh, you know, the, the sort of the thing they're really going for is the immersion, sort of the, you know, the TV style feel, the, you know, improvements in career mode. I think, honestly, I am very, the gameplay is, is, is still very similar. I'm not, I'm not going to say they've, they've drastically changed it or anything like that. The gameplay is the same. Let's be real. You know, smoother animations and all that sort of good stuff. There are still some nagging little issues that, I don't know, I, I always say I'll do like a review and then I, I never get around to it, but you know, if you guys have played it, there's there's definitely a lot of little nagging things that people are talking about, which, you know, it, it does detract from it, but I think hopefully they can release some patches for a few of the little things. There's nothing, there's nothing too major at the moment, but you know... Oh, that is... Look at that one. <laughs> Thankfully, that one spun the other way because we completely missed it. If it was just going straight on with the arm, it would have cleaned us up, but it ripped away. I I actually... So, the other thing, I did increase the spin a little bit, but my <laughs> my spin bowling doesn't turn at all. <laughs> These guys are getting it to rip, dude. They're club cricketers. I don't know why their their stats must be okay because our bowling, we don't get it to turn an inch. <laughs> but, um, you know, th that'll increase with... the. Uh, with more play as uh, again the other thing I, you know i've talked about before but the the keeper is definitely way better dude um if you just watch him at the back the way he sort of flips the ball up to players and you know this and that it, it's more realistic like he'll just lob it up to a to the slips fielder um and other stuff like that it, it just looks it looks a heck of a lot better even that like if you if you go back and watch that quickly i hit that to the leg side but the keeper in previous games, he would, like, follow it, and if you hit it fine enough, he could even catch, like, a ridiculous catch, like, off the face of your bat if you hit it, like, really fine, down fine leg, but if you go back and watch that shot before against the spin, he actually, like, followed the ball, like, into the gloves, per se, if I'd missed it, if I'd missed it, he would have taken the ball, like, on the gloves around the stumps, he didn't, like, follow it, to where I was hitting the ball, if that makes sense. If you go back and watch it, you'll you'll get a better idea of it. But it's it's um it's a huge a huge improvement. And the other thing I, I did, I actually when did I do it? Last episode? I can't even remember. Or well, maybe during this this game I, I've done it. But I put the keeper to transparent because I I didn't even I, I'm trying to remember if I had it like this in Ashes cricket. I think it might have been default in that game because I don't remember putting it on, but uh, my first few matches of this, the keeper was just blocking the view of the delivery so much, dude. It was really difficult to actually see where the ball was going to pitch. So I, I'm sure I must have had it like this in the last game because it's too hard to pick because that is a, it's a good shot. The outfield is super slow. I'm wondering if that the different stadiums the outfield plays. Look at that arm, dude. <laughs> I wonder if the different outfields and stuff do play differently because the outfield is really, really slow. I, I talked about it um, previously. Is where I wanted to have a look at the replay on this because I absolutely belted it. I, I smoked it out of the middle of the bat. It felt like ideal timing and it, it felt good, but it just it held up. Um, in the outfield, as you can see, it, it pretty much right off, right off the meat. You can also see the cherries on the bat, which um, I think that happened in the last game as well. I'm pretty sure, but again, it's 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 a good thing. Um, just shows you where you're hitting it. Get a few edges, <laughs> a few out of the few out of the meat of the bat, out of this power shot. We want it right out of the the blue circle, the the good old the good old uh, middle. But um, 
you know, right here again. So that, that's one thing there, right there. I played an aggressive ground stroke straight down the ground. Ideal timing, ideal shot choice, good footwork, I think it was. And it went in the air. Now, I don't know what's going on with that because a few times I've played an aggressive shot, aggressive ground stroke down the ground, it actually does like go in the air, which is pretty annoying as that is whizzed through pretty high. And it is, uh, it is given wide, but yeah, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm, I'm not sure what is the go with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying. That is a beautiful shot. <laughs> Unfortunately, there were slips there because that was a, that was a really nice guide down to, down to third man. If there was no one back there, a few runs, or if, if there was a single, gotcha. this one is just lobbed up straight to the fielder. But he's put it down. <laughs> he's put it down, dude. We get a life right there. We do lead by 104, so let's send this up. That was in the slot. I tried to go big downtown. Didn't really get any of it, and the fielder here just absolutely drops a dolly. That's not uh, not good at all. As I'm myself, Estes, doing a, doing a good job here. Doing a real good job. As that one has uh, just worked away. Um... The one thing you'll notice as well playing, like, you can really, and I, I do feel like this is probably more club cricket. I don't want to talk about the fielding too much because, you know, these guys probably aren't rated very well in the field, but you can get, like, a single off, like, any time you hit it to a fielder, and you, pre you can pick up twos, like, any time as well. Now, like, like I said, I think it is a lot to do with club cricket and the fact that arm strength is, like, really bad. As this one is flicked away, I wanted to play that back foot, but he's he's gone. <laughs> he's gone the front foot. It didn't really get up too high, thankfully. Could have been trouble if it got near. It's in my armpit, but sort of didn't really get up at all. So we just flicked it away for a for a boundary. So 38 off 52. We're starting to look starting to look pretty comfortable at the crease now. As uh, this one is pulled away, almost straight down the throat of uh, the man in close there, um, which. Uh, wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been too too great um but yeah we do we do survive right there this one has just worked away for a, for another sneaky single just pick up singles and twos for days really while you while you're getting your eye in just just keep doing that um as uh right here get a little bit of an overview and so you're gonna see what happens here um <laughs> Oh no, not here. It's a bit later. You'll see. So unfortunately, this episode is going to come to a premature end. Um, I had some, I had some issues with the, <laughs> with the end of this game, dude. You're gonna see it coming up. Uh, right? No, not right here. Yeah, right about there. <laughs> so I actually, you know what had happened? I'd paused the game. Well, I thought I'd paused it, and. It'd probably been like a couple of overs bold. I come back and I find that uh, the game, I'd been out and the game was like well and truly into it. And I was like, what the hell has happened? And then unfortunately, there was an issue with the end of this game. So we're not going to see the end score, unfortunately. It's not a huge deal. I actually, I think I bowled like a couple of overs. They chased our runs down pretty easily. So... A bit of an annoying finish to that episode, which is frustrating. Um, yeah, because I'd paused it and I went away and I was freaking out, dude. I couldn't believe it. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and I'll see you in the next one.